putting hogs on the mind, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven. Good Ravens fam. So let me get my stuff. Let me get my stuff ready. So Ravens had they press pre-draft presser today. Ah. Uh, he said some correct, some very um interesting things that caught my attention. One, we had oh my goodness, the the haters and the spammers and uh, if y'all been there on the when it's live, oh my goodness, it was uh so many just I I ain't never blocked so many people ever in my life. It was ridiculous. I'm like, don't y'all got school or go read a book or work or watch somebody window, gas pump somebody's car. <sighs> anyway, anyway, man, I I got a block badge for that off of 2K. I, I know I got my, my Hall of Fame block badge. But one thing, Eric DeCosta, he said a lot of good things. And you already know he he did not give out no information whatsoever. But he said they one he don't he don't when the Ravens are interested in someone, they're trying to have someone visit, they try their best to keep it on the low. I'm like, that's a godfather move, but try to keep it on the low. He said, for example, he can talk about it now was Lamar Jackson. I can't remember that far back, but Lamar visited the Ravens for the draft. And Lamar didn't have no agent, so that word did not get out there like that. And he said the agents are the ones that be snitching, pretty much. Straight snitching. So that's the ones that be giving out the word that he doesn't like that. And, you know, keep it on low. Cause it, it's it. It's a, it's a game of chess. Every NFL team is playing game a chess game right now. Some are. Some is just special. But a lot of teams, general managers, they're playing chess. Why would you show your whole hand? Why would you even show a card? Why would you even show the interest? You know? And talking about the interest, he talked about showing smoke screens. Showing smoke screens, he said there are times where they're interested in a player and they invite them and word gets out. And there are times they invite a player not being interested in them just to throw up that smoke screen. So you, you dang if you do and you dang if you don't. That's an old school Simpsons. But it's true. And then when he said that, I'm like, that's a godfather right there, man. It's like even us Raven fans, we don't know. Now I know the Justin Houston. I know that was serious interest, but we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. He also talked about. They also asked him about the Orlando Brown trade. Now with that, he said he value picks. But this draft, he don't want 11 or 12 picks. But next year, he wants some additional picks. And when he said, I'm like, dude. The dude just asked about Orlando Brown not too long ago after that. So I'm like, is he trying to get a trade for Orlando Brown? Swap first rounders. And then get some picks for next year for him. If that happened on draft day, that's a good move. Because you don't want, and the downfall about having so many picks is, it's good and bad that you can hit some gems on some, and some you cannot, and then you can let them go. But you let them go too early, and then somebody else picks them up. 
and that gym becomes a top. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That gym becomes very valuable. And we had our chance. But we let him go. Darren Waller. We had him. He was he was drafted as a wide receiver. No. Yes, he was drafted as a wide receiver. Had problems. Kept him. He moved to tight end. Put him on the practice squad. Raiders grab him. And that's the good and the bad about the practice squad. Somebody can take them. So that right there is just a learning example as well. But but he also, I thought I saw something my bad, y'all. But, and he also talked, to, and they also asked about the Lamar. He said they're still in conversation with Lamar. I don't know when it's going, it's going to happen. Because he said Lamar wants it to happen. Obviously, they want it to happen. Lamar is concentrating on winning. Oh, man. So it's going to... I don't know. It's going to be interesting with that. Like, could it happen this year? Or is it next year? So we still got to get Mark Andrew. We still... <sighs> I don't know. It's going to be interesting. Because you know when they break that news out... All the media outlets are going to be talking about how much Lamar has in his pocket, which is none of their dang business. But you know they're going to talk about it. We already know he's going to get 40-plus mil, but, you know, how's it going to affect the team? That's 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 the thing. And he said he said something similar like that where he would like, he, he would like to have that problem where because you have your franchise quarterback. So the money's gonna go everywhere and that's when the draft people, the draft players that they're on the, the little low budget is gonna really hit. That's really where it's gonna come down to, is those players. But in his draft as well, he said, there are five to eight pass rushers that could go in a couple of rounds. When he said that, I was like, okay, so if the number one wide receiver you want is there and then the pass rusher you want is there, which way you're going to go? I'm thinking they're going to go wide receiver, even though I'm going to speak about that a little later, what he said and my thoughts on that, but I will go with that wide receiver. Because the Ravens are known to strike some gold. You know what I'm saying? In the later round, Judon, Smith, those were later round picks. They went to other teams, but those were, you know, now they have more of a chance. The later round picks, the Bowser, they have a lot of chance. Now, Bowser, he signed for more years, but now he has really a chance to shine because those players are not in front of them anymore. And that's really what a lot of teams and players in general just deal with. They really don't really get that chance. Some people are not good in practice. And some people are balling when the game actually happens. But that's going to be interesting. I'm thinking, quick, quick thought. I'm thinking first round wide receiver, second round pass rusher. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And he said the wide receiver corp in the first three rounds is going to be deep, which everybody is saying the same thing. This is a deep class. They say it every year. But this one right here, I've seen so many four threes and all that. You know, it's their pro days. So, they're going to be flying. Mainly, I think the second round, I think they're really going to be flying off the board. I think they're really going to be flying off the board. And we almost there, y'all. And we almost there. He also spoke about the offensive lineman, about Bozeman. Bozeman. And he said Bozeman, when they drafted Bozeman, 
he was drafted as a center because he was a center at Alabama. He was drafted as a center, but when he came aboard, they were so deep at center that he just stopped playing other positions. And that went, I was like, and he's like, well, we're just going to put him in there where he fits. He's going to be the center. I think he's going to be the center. He did pretty good playing the guard spot. He's going to be the center. He said that he's tough, he's smart, center. That's what we need to protect Lamar. Then the, the last part is, and the question was how, I think it was Jameson, I think it was Jameson, how Jameson put it, it was so, so good how he put it. I'm going to kind of summarize it. He said, you have drafted Pro Bowl players in every position except wide receiver. Does that bother you? And also, what people say, does that bother you? And when he said that, I was like, that's everybody was talking about as the wide receivers for us, the Ravens. And he said it, it, it gets under his skin. It should get under, you know, the wide receivers that we have. It should get under their skins. And Everything he's done so far, you got Keith Williams, wide receiver coach. One good reason why Sammy Watkins joined. But he's going to be the passing coordinator. Might end up being the offense coordinator. It matters how Giro does, but Everything's pointing where he's he's focusing on fixing that problem. Because defense is not our problem. It's the passing game is our problem. Too one-dimensional. Every Super Bowl we've been to, it's always been balanced. Sort of balanced, I would say. Sort of balanced. Because when won in 2000, I don't even count that offense. That was nothing but defense, but you know, they don't play like that anymore. Then we went one when one in twenty twelve. The defense was kind of lacking that year, if I remember correctly. But Joe and Anquan and Jacoby with that catch and miracle of the miracle high, they was on another level. Joe always been on another level on this playoffs. But you gotta have that balance. We still cause we still had that run game. We had Ray, Ray, Ray Rice doing his thing, you know? But and the run game is always gonna be there for us Ravens. We got Lamar, we got JK starting now, we got Gus the bus. Hopefully he gets signed to a um, extension. But it's there. You know, the run game ain't going nowhere. But it's going to be interesting to see. Oh, also, he said from now to September, they could add a vet. And I'm like, okay. So did they tell Justin Houston, like, hey, Houston, hold on. Just, just try to bear with us. We told Des Bryant to get, get back in shape and we'll holler at him. You see, we kept our word. So, we're known to keep our word. Can you wait till like after, you know what I'm saying, May the 3rd? Holla at your boy. You know what I'm saying? Because that will be your draft. We got Bowser. We draft the pass rusher. Houston is the vet. Perfect to me. Because defensive line, Matabuki. He had Brandon Williams, Calais Campbell, Pernell McPhee. Pernell McPhee went, you know, red, right edge, and he went everywhere, really. But uh, Wolf, he had all them people just to be a sponge. Bowser still, still is very young and still can be a sponge as well. Just something to think about. So y'all tell me what y'all think for those who saw the pressure or just my thoughts, what you think. 
Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share. Everybody stay safe. See you next video.